<clears throat> All right. Hey, Ryan's Ken here. Okay. I'm the safe investor. My goal is to help you make money and stay safe at the same time. Okay. So today I'm going to share with you a very, very important concept, which is called the value investing strategy. And can it be used on cryptocurrency? So let's look at some charts right now. So right now, the four major cryptocurrencies right now are, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Cardano, uh, Cardano and Solona. These four are the ones I'm looking at right now. Okay, so now what is value investing? So value investing is very, very simple. According to Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio, all those great investors in the world, they have been using this value investing strategy to profit from the stock market. Now, um, because cryptocurrency is very, very new, so no one has really been able to successfully use the value investing strategy on the cryptocurrency yet. We just haven't really heard of anyone yet. Well, we have, but then it's like sometimes you hear people make a lot of money and the next day they lose a lot of money on you know cryptocurrency trading. So what is the value investing strategy and why does Warren Buffett use this and why uh, there are so many value investors in the world. So it's very, very simple. So when we talk about value investing, what we want to do is we want to find a value of something. So just for example, um, if I if I pick up this uh, this remote control or this or this um, this deck of cards, right? According to the value investing strategy or trading, it tells you that you should use uh, you could you should ask around, look into the financial reports, and determine the cost of this particular item or or you know that, that company, right? So, if, for example, if this cost of this card right here is around a hundred dollars, then for some reason, uh, when the market fluctuates, right, then the price of this card deck of card can go down to fifty dollars right and then at that time when you buy into this item this card this company this cryptocurrency then you have made money already so that's a value investing strategy now also let's say um this is a very high demand card right high demand it has scarcity not a lot of people have it. so let's say even if even if the cost of this card is $100, but you bought this card using $200, right? But because of the intrinsic value growth, so for example, it can be the scarcity, it can be the demand, um, it can be it's some, you know, maybe it can be a magician buying this card from you. So now, or if you put it for a long time, you know, it's artwork, it's antique, and then the, the intrinsic value continues to grow over the $200 that you have paid for. So maybe if you buy this car, even even if you bought it at $200 and the cost is $100, right? But then after maybe five or 10 years, because the demand is increasing, um, you know, more people want to buy this car and it's a limited edition, limited value, then, you know, you can probably sell it for $1,000. So that's called the value investing strategy. Now, can you actually use this on cryptocurrency right so when we when we invest there is trend investing so leslie knows all about trend investing he uses his stop losses you take profit looking at the trends right so that's called trend investing now value investing is all about looking into the value first you want to find something that's valuable and then you want to wait for a drop and then you buy until you hold on to it and you don't really touch it that much you could do a little bit of trading but you don't you don't do uh that much right so okay so now let's look into ethereum and bitcoin tonight so we know that there is actually a, a pretty big drop in ethereum and in bitcoin right now um i think most of you if you've been in, in trading or investing in the crypto world um, for some time you will know that um ethereum 100 has more usage than bitcoin so how will that affect the price uh change right so if you look at the ethereum chart and bitcoin chart right here you can actually see that Whenever Bitcoin goes down, it takes more time for it to go back up. But when Ethereum goes down, you can see you know, a big drop right here. Bitcoin, that was a big drop right here. Bitcoin still hover on the bottom. Ethereum had already, you know, gone back up and you know it, it, it drops less. So this means that whenever 
whenever you know something is more valuable to to people right you know your your nfts your blockchains your your, your gas fees right um people you know will take advantage and and just buy more of that item so even if you look at the trading value you can look at you know ethereum's trading value right here is you know somewhere around like you know 400k 400k right here bitcoin however right here, it doesn't even reach 100k so this actually does mean that um less people are buying bitcoin and also more people are, are actually looking into the ethereum because you know you need gas fees you, you you're buying and selling nfts you're doing you're doing uh crypto transactions now you have the bp chain your erc20 chain right everything right now is built on ethereum so you know if you use the value value trading value investing strategy you will see that ethereum comparing it to bitcoin it does have more demand it, when demand goes up it has more value okay so now the real question is what about ada right cardano and salona well, by the way if you have attended my catch bottom ta class you will understand what i'm talking about if you haven't you know attended my uh, catch bottom technical analysis class do check it out so now we want to kind of see what contributes value to those four coins right so now we know bitcoin doesn't really contribute anything it's more of a, a digital gold right so it doesn't have a lot it doesn't have a lot of uses now if you look if you search um ethereum uses just type ethereum uses on google there will be a lot of articles saying that uh what can be used on uh, uh what can ethereum be used on right so that's that's how you do your research that's how you uh distinguish if there is true value appreciation in ethereum Right, so then you, know, you look at some articles, you will find the law of uses right in Ethereum right now. Um, Bitcoin right now, if you actually go and look at Bitcoin, it's very hard for you to see any practical uses in, in Bitcoin. So you know, the the only usage right now is anonymous transfer, and that can actually be done with Ethereum as well. So it's more like a digital gold. You kind of don't want to uh, do a lot. There's no true value appreciation unless you know because of the scarcity you know some people do think that it's going to continue to grow okay so i'm not, not going to comment on that it could still be true just like gold so now we want to look at what your know, top cardano uses and top salona uses okay so um if you go and look around you can see that you know cardano is a digital coin that can be used to store value or or send and receive funds so it's kind of like ethereum it's kind of like blockchain it was i I know Cardano was trying to solve some problems and then and, and then Solona was actually out and it was trying to solve some other problems like for example high gas fee and uh, and all different things right you proof of work proof of proof of stake um so what you want to do is you actually want to let's so you know if you look at Solona right now um it is actually at a pretty good support line right here um even though it broke the support but you can still if you really think that there is value in Solona, right? Right now could be a good time to buy it because it's, it's pretty cheap. Now, um, ADA, right? So ADA, why did it crash you know, all the way down here? No one is actually, this means that more and more people are selling ADA. So then the question you should really ask yourself is, do you see the demand in ADA? Do you see the, do you see a reason for people to buy ADA? Okay, what is the true value? What contributes value to ADA? So if you can't answer this question, just don't buy it. Cut your losses doing. If you can't understand what you're buying, if you can't understand like, you know, if you don't see the value appreciation, don't don't buy it. Okay, if if you're like you want to be really really safe, buy Ethereum right now because Ethereum is everything still built on ethereum right so even so let's say you know e even if you don't uh, want to get into the trading guessing thingy um you can still go and buy you know like very solid companies so for example if you look at any company in the world you look at what is the use for microsoft what is the use for apple what is the use for tsmc what is used for uh Mar mara digital or something then you can actually find what they are doing what value do they contribute to the society what problem are they trying to solve are people buying their products or services now if no one is using their product or no one's using their services that company is going to go down same thing 
with cryptocurrencies. If no one's using Bitcoin, no one's using Ethereum, the price will drop. Same thing if no one's using Solana, no one's using Cardano, the price will drop. So right now, for me as a value investor, the only thing I see is the demand in Ethereum. Okay, so that's for me. I could be wrong because I'm not I'm not like like a, a very like a crypto expert who understands everything, right? Okay, so now that's from a very uh, safe perspective. The only value that I see right now is in Ethereum, but I could I, but I could be wrong. All right, so um so yeah, so that's it. So can you still use the value investing strategy? The answer is yes, but you have to understand what contributes value to the coin that you're buying. Okay. By the way, um, I'm doing a live mindset training this Saturday about um, making money on anything you you buy. Now, um, originally this course was around four hundred dollars um, USDs, but right now, since I just held a very big event with Leslie, I'm currently in Singapore, and I met up with Leslie, the, the crypto turtle. So we're we're we're, um, we're giving out like a, a big free discount. So if you haven't joined my mindset training course for uh, if you want to understand stocks more, if you want to understand how Warren Buffett does value investing, what is his, what is he thinking? How can you profit from the stock market and not doing trading, but doing real investing, then I will paste the link below. And this is a free training program with a three hour training program this Saturday, 1.30 PM. Okay. I'll give you guys this course as a gift for tonight. And um, yeah, so can you really use the value investing strategy? on cryptocurrency the answer is yes okay, the answer is yes but you have to understand what contributes value to the coin that you're buying because they have no financial reports for you to read you can't see the revenue you can't see the earnings you can do a little bit of trading using using bollinger band you know you know, all technical analysis to do that but if you want to play it safe understand the value understand what what value does it does it contribute? Will the value appreciate? That's the true mindset that you should have if you're a, a long-term investor. Okay, I'll post I'll paste the link below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wait, don't wait, I'm done. All right, I think that's it. Bye-bye.